Is there a particular one you wanted us to look at as an example? Uh, the first, the third, and the last one. Mm, the first, the third, and the last one. We'll start with the first. Now, because I find it boring to do this on my own, right? Um, I would appreciate it if we could uh, we could do this as a group, right? Let's let's right. break let's yes let's break it up into into parts, right? What would be the first thing, right? Where we are given this um, this thirty two bit um, uh, thirty two bit machine uh, representation of an instruction that we know nothing about, right? It's thirty two bits here. What and we are told we need to convert this to its equivalent um, uh, assembler instruction, right? Something that a human being will be able to understand, right? Is this an is this a, a sub dollar sign whatever for and whatnot? Is this a mode? You know, is this a div operation? You know what I'm saying? What do we start? What is the first thing we have to do? Any thoughts? Find out first the type of instruction we're working with. Yes. Okay. And how do we do that? Step one. How do we find the type of instruction we're working with? By checking the first one. Uh, the leftmost six bits. Excellent, right? Because we know that irrespective of the instruction type, and this is, this is stuff that needs to sink in, irrespective of the instruction type, the first six bits is, will tell you what type of, of, of the type of instruction you're dealing with. Already, we know that this thing can never be an R format instruction. Why? Well, all R format instructions are all zeros, right? So this, this is either an I format instruction or a J format instruction, right? But because we've been told that we need to refer to this, this thing here, we see that this reference card here, right? It represents op codes, yeah? in hexadecimal, right? So what we need to do essentially here is convert these six bits here into hex. Do you understand this? So step, I don't know, this is, this is gonna, I don't know, maybe like this, but step 1a would be like uh, convert first six, bits into hex, right? And, and converting this into hex, how do we convert this into hex? It's simple, I know what you're thinking. Well, we use a calculator, right? I guess you could use a calculator if you want to. Um, but also we can take advantage of the fact that uh, uh, nibbles can be converted into, directly into an individual hexadecimal symbol, right? So we just count one, two, three, four, separate them. One, two, three, four, right? So already we know that this is the equivalent of, or it's an equivalent of what? Eight. Hmm. Three. What? How can this be three? Come on. This is eight, right? One's place. Two's place. Four's place. Eight's place. Right? So this is eight hex. The moment we see that this is eight hex, we go here, right? We look here. What is what what is what instruction is associated with eight hex? You see here, right? So we see that this is actually an add i instruction, right? So if we know that this is an add I instruction, what should be the next step then? Once we figure out that this is an I, I format instruction, what do we do next? So we're also going to convert the following uh, five bits since uh, we are now referring to the registers, like uh, to exact bits equivalent to hexadecimal value. 
Yes. Mm. So, so you're saying we, we convert what? Convert? The following five bits. Since we are now, uh, uh, it's an add die, you know, to say uh, two are supposed to be operands, and then the other one should be the immediate value. In this case, the what is the register is supposed to have five bits. So we're also going to convert the five bits to, yeah. I don't know, if there's no suggestion. Yeah, and, and, and it's an important point about, and this is life really in general, is that, is that there's different ways of doing things, right? If I tell you, say, from the from East Park, go to um, the new halls of residence, like, like, like new res or something, right? I mean, you, you take different paths, right? Um, for me, right, if I was doing this for the first time, for me to make sure that I don't make mistakes, what I would do is before I start converting this directly, um, not to confuse myself, what I would do is I would identify its segments associated with instruction so, so that you don't make a mistake when you come to decoding. Because this is an add I instruction, I know that an add I instruction is associated with um, RT followed by RS followed by immediate value, right? This is what I do know is that an, an add I instruction, right, is, is an I format instruction and the, 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 the sort of segments associated with this are as follows. This is, how, this is how the segments are linked to the 32 bits, right? You start with an opcode followed by RS, I mean, followed by RT, followed by immediate value, right? And in fact, to further not complicate things, you come here and you say six bits here, right? And then you have five bits, right? And then you have five bits. And then you have 16 bits. So, so with this, once, once you identify that this is what you, this is in, in fact how you expect to reconstruct this, this is, this is the format of the instruction, then what you can do now is, uh, um, is as step three, maybe you could say extract instruction bit segments now, right? And, and this is easy. So you, you start with the opcode. Right, which you've already done here, right? You, you know that the opcode is uh, the first six, right? Opcode is the first six, which is uh, add i. And then you come to RS. RS is, it tells here, right? So step number two tells you that it's five bits. So you come here, one, two, three, four, five. You extract this five. Bring them here. RT is according to this next five. So you come here one, two, three, four, five. You extract this. And then the remaining 16 bits is the immediate value. You come here. Right? And then you, you, you just, essentially, you just start uh, converting these. I mean, you, you've already converted the add i here, so you know that uh, this is just going to be equal to 8, eight hex, which is equal to add i. You come to rs, right? Well, rs, we know that uh, uh, this, this, this is a register, RS is a register, and registers in, in, in MIPS instructions are represented in base 10, yeah? So all you do is you convert this five bit uh, binary number here into decimal, but this is zero, so it's just going to be zero, right? So essentially what we're saying, this is the register zero, right? So we are saying that uh, this is equal to zero base 10 which is essentially going to be equal to dollar sign zero. You come to, you come to RRT, right? You see that, oh, RRT again, according to this instruction, RRT is a register, right? 
yeah? Because um, RIT is a register, you have to convert the bit segment associated with RIT into base 10. So essentially you're saying, um, you're saying what you want to do is to convert this to base 10, right? This is essentially going to, this is one's place, two's place, four's place, eight's place, right? So this is essentially eight, yeah? Yeah, so this is, this is uh, eight base 10, meaning that this is dollar sign eight, right? And then you come to the immediate value. Because the immediate value is a constant, and we know that in MIPS, um, values are represented using two's complement. What does this tell us about the sign of the resulting number of the immediate value? Is it going to be positive or negative? Positive. Yeah, so in, in essence, you are, you are going in the reverse direction where you're converting this into base 10, right? Um, using two's complement. But because this is, this is positive, you just convert it directly, right? Uh, so you can take your peak here. Uh, I don't know what people would... Now, here's, here's how life works, right? At this page, you'd get two marks if you converted this to hexadecimal. Doesn't matter, right? You, you understand what I'm saying here? So effectively, what you could try to do is, oh, I'm going to convert it to hexadecimal. One, two, three, four. 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 So this in hexadecimal is, is going to be equal to what? This is zero, um, uh, this is uh, one plus two plus four, right? This is seven, right? This is seven, yeah? One's place, two's place, four's place, right? And then this is uh, one's place, two's place, four's place, eight plus eight's place, 12 plus one, which is 13, right? Uh, what is 13? D, right? D. Yeah. Um, and then this is just going to be zero, right? So effectively what you're saying is, uh, this is uh, going to be zero X seven D zero or something. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I guess you could just confirm these things. I don't know if you're doing the right thing. Maybe we have, but you could, you could also confirm this, right? Using your calculator, obviously, because you have access to your calculator, you'd come here and you say, well, what is seven D naught, right? In binary, oh, is it the same? Is it the same? Yes, sir. Yes, it is the same, right? It's just that this is not represented using 16-bit representation. The, the zero paddings are not there, right? If you come here, forget about the zero B here. It's just this indication that it's binary. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's the same thing that we had before. So effectively, right? Now, now here's the kicker. So you come here, you've, you've, you've identified, right? that uh, these are the different segments. Op code is add i, rs is dollar sign zero, rt is dollar sign eight, immediate value is this. In fact, what you want, what you can do is, besides using this hex value, what you can also do is convert this into decimal, right? Repeated multiplication if you wish, uh, or you can then, you can, you can, you can convert this decimal into, uh, this binary into decimal directly, or you can convert this hex into, um, into decimal, or you can leave it like this, but but you'd have to represent the instruction appropriately. But just for argument's sake, right? We're just going to convert this to decimal. We see that it's two thousand, right? This is also two thousand. Now here's the thing: step number four: reconstruct the instruction. Now you want to be very careful about reconstructing the, the instruction here because the order of the bit segment is different from how this instruction is organized in MIPS. So you must remind yourself that the format is this. And so all you do is you come add I. What is RRT? You come here. Oh, RRT is dollar sign eight, dollar sign eight, comma. What is RS? Oh, RS is dollar sign zero, dollar sign zero, comma. What is the immediate value? Oh, the immediate value is 2000. Right, or zero seven D naught, but I'll put 2000. And so the answer would be that the instruction, this thing here, this is essentially 
um, add i dollar sign eight comma dollar sign zero comma two thousand. 